Hey guys, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. In this DIY video, I'm gonna show you just how to install your Burger Motorsports Billet Aluminum Oil Filter Housing Cap. Now being Billet Aluminum, you get rid of that stock crappy plastic piece that likes to tend to break actually, and to bust open and leak oil all over your engine bay. It has actually happened a few times. So this gets rid of that problem because being Billet Aluminum. Now some other perks about switching over, uh, you have a built-in 19 millimeter hex uh, right onto it, so you do not have to, you know, get your special tool to be able to take your stock housing off or try to find it. 19 millimeter hex. Now this bill aluminum cap still retains the stock cage that goes in the inside, so that way you can do your little gasket on there too. So that is right on there. You just swap it out of your old one, put in this one, and you're good to go. So it's not just for the N54. So of course you have the N54. N55, S55, N52, N20, and N51. So it spans over a few of the engines uh, that I know a lot of you guys do have, so that's a perk there, of course. You don't have to change your entire engine oil when you do this. You can let the car be completely cold, like let it sit overnight, let all the oil drain to the bottom of the pan. I am due for an oil change today, so I'll be draining all the oil out of my car and then of course refilling that. So I'll show you the process of how to swap this out show you just how easy it is. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove our oil cap, so that way we can put the BMS one on. Now I'm just using my genuine BMW removal cap here. Then I'm gonna take my one and one sixteenths. Now I still have the drain plug undone down below because some oil will come out. Make sure nothing else Kind of drains elsewhere. Just putting a rag around here. I never really have any problems with it, especially after I let the oil drain all the way out. But if you're doing this ahead of the oil change, something you might want to think of. Get it nice and drained out. I'm gonna remove it out. So we're gonna to need to remove the old filter from the housing before we can swap over the cage to the BMS one. Now the filter will just slide out like this. Now one little trick uh, to get the cage out since it's down in like, it's like clipped down in the stock one is to put the new filter on, so the new filter on, and then I'm just rocking back and forth while pulling at the same time. <clears throat> there, and then it pops right off. So it's like, it just clips down in there. Uh, this just gives the leverage that you need. All right, now we're gonna install the stock cage that you took out, and it's just gonna just go, you're gonna line it right up with these clips. Push down on one side, push down on the other side. Very sturdy. Actually a lot sturdier than the stock setup, to be honest with you. Now we're gonna take our brand new filter. This was a brand new filter. So I put it on the stock one there. Push it all the way in, until it clicks in, just like the stock setup. Nothing is different with this. Uh, now we're gonna change the gasket. This one's an old gasket, I gotta take that off. And then I have a new gasket here as well. Take our old gasket off, just taking a pick tool. Slide it off there, there's your old one. Take a brand new one. Like so. And then take your new O-ring gasket. Slide it all the way on. It's gonna go right here in this groove. There we go. We're gonna take a new BMS billet aluminum oil filter cap here. With all new gaskets on, you are ready to go. What I also do is I clean just the mating surface off here, getting any 
residual oil on there just so it has like a nice kind of seal to, you know, metal kind of thing. And hand tighten, then take your 19 millimeter. And then right when it stops, you're good. Here's what it looks like within the engine bay. Looks good under the hood. And now all I have to do is just do my 19 millimeter hex there and I can go ahead and do it. Makes it simple and uh, everything looks great. Definitely start off the engine, make sure there's no leaks coming out. Check underneath. If you change the oil, of course, if you didn't, and it's just up here at the top, then you would just want to make sure the cap's not leaking around. All good. All right, guys, that does it for today. The full install on the Burger Motorsports billet aluminum oil filter housing cap that replaces your stock piece right there on top. Outside of being billet aluminum and not going to break because of the plastic, you have a nice little added touch in the engine bay. So of course it looks great under the hood with the gloss black finish. Uh, so that we have that and with the build a 19 millimeter hex head you don't have to you know get another oil filter cap out of your toolbox or anything just put the socket on there and uh, you're good to go very simple install as you saw now i changed my oil at the same time just because i was due for that either or you could do uh, so down in the description box below i'll have the link to the exact product that i installed today of course and the little tools that i used uh here in this uh, install let me know if you have any questions Big thumbs up on this DIY. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out my other DIYs that I have out there, of course. Informational videos, modification stuff. Lots of great content out there for you. Hope you have a great week and take care.